Hello ladies and gentlemen, Gear204 here bringing you another Minecraft Modern Warfare Vehicle Tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the H64E Apache Guardian. The H64E attack helicopter is the latest version of the AH-64 used by the US Army. It is also known as the Apache Guardian. Until 2012 it was designated as the H64D Block 3. It has a number of improvements and upgrades including more powerful engines, upgraded transmission, and other improvements. This gunship might also be fitted with the updated longbow fire control radar. Deliveries to the US Army began in 2011. At the time, the US Army planned to refurbish and upgrade a total of 634 AH-64D helicopters to the AH-64E standard. Um, so yeah, this helicopter here is the latest and greatest uh, variant of the Apache. Um, again, just kind of uh, upgrading on the D version. There's not a whole lot of differences between the uh, D and um, the E, from my knowledge, um, except that uh, it's kind of more of an optional addition to have that radar system uh, located up on the top, that big disc-shaped um, object that's kind of... Uh, very popular on the D variants. It can be fitted with it. It also uh, sometimes isn't. So I went ahead and just to kind of show a little bit of a difference uh, distinction between this and the D version to go ahead and build this without that uh, domed radar thing on top. Um, before we go ahead and take a look at this build though, I do want to go ahead and give a big thanks to uh, Z Pro Warfare for commissioning this build. If you guys are interested in commissioning a build in the future, definitely feel free to reach out to me. Um, you can reach out to me on Discord or my email, garrett 24 at gmail.com, um, and I'd be happy to work with you guys on trying to go ahead and get you guys set up with a build commission, and basically all it is is you pay a uh, amount to have a build made, and it's prioritized, and I get it out as soon as I possibly can, and you get a build of your choice. So definitely cool benefits there if you're interested in that and you have a little bit of extra money sitting around and you really want to see a vehicle, probably your best way to go ahead and get that built quick. Um, with that though, let's go and dive in here and take a look at the AH-64E. Now one of the main requests from Z Pro was to actually get um, a landed version. Uh, some of you may remember my older Apache tutorial where I did not have a landed version as technically the Apache does sit at quite a drastic angle when it is landed. Um, so I went ahead and kind of did a little bit of modifications here. Um, I went ahead and had the landing gear here kind of bend in a little bit. Um, and then I also uh, had the wheel in the back here extend a little bit more. So um, this mainly right here was just to make it work so that it you know, looks like it could be positioned like this. Um, I don't think it looks the greatest, but really I couldn't figure out any other way to get this to work properly. Um, so, unfortunately not perfect, but there is a optional landed version for you guys if you are interested in that. Um, but we'll take a look at the in-flight version, because I think the in-flight version really is the kind of coolest uh, version of this helicopter. Uh, but basically we have our front landing gear, as you can see, we have the 30mm cannon underneath. Our loadout here is the Hydra rocket pods, um, and then we have the... Uh, the Hellfire missile. So a very standard uh, loadout. You got your basically just uh, you know unguided rockets, and then you have your anti-vehicle uh, rockets as well. So has pretty good capabilities here. Um, we then have uh, the cockpit, obviously for your pilot and gunner. Um, the engines located here, and then we have the uh, kind of tail section that flows back. Really nothing too crazy with it. Uh, your horizontal stabilizer, vertical stabilizer, and your tail rotor. Um, and of course we have the little landing gear on the back here. This is realistically what it would uh, look like and how it would be positioned. So the aircraft would definitely sit at a bit more of an angle, uh, a pretty good angle uh, compared to what we have there. So um, yeah, that pretty much right there is going to kind of complete the overview here of the Apache. With that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our tutorial, uh, which will get started with our first uh, layer of the build. So with that, let's go ahead and move into our tutorial. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving into our tutorial here, we'll be going ahead and starting off with our first layer, layer three. Now, there is a few things I want to go ahead and mention real quick before we go ahead and jump into the tutorial. First thing being, if you're completely new to my aircraft tutorials, the way I like to structure these builds, I like to do half on camera, half off. What that means is I'm going to be doing the center line of the helicopter and then the right side. And then uh, basically it'll be up to you guys to copy the right side over to the left side. And then we'll talk about anything that might be different from that uh, in that layer uh, compared to the both sides. Most of this helicopter is going to be symmetrical, so whatever you do on 
one side will be done on the other unless said otherwise. In addition, um, we will be adding the land gear on at the end, um, so you'll be able to kind of pick and choose what you want to do in terms of building it. Um, if you want to have the helicopter landed or if you want to have it in flight, there are differences in the landing gear, so we will be going ahead and covering those differences for the different versions. Now, if you do want to build this helicopter in flight, you're going to be um, more than welcome to. You can just go ahead and start this layer wherever you want. If you do want to build this landed, you will want to make sure that you have this a certain height off the ground. You can see here my layer three is that third level up from the ground level. So we have the ground, we have one, two, and it's that third row up. That is where your helicopter is going to sit. And again, that's going to be if you want to have the helicopter landed. Uh, very important to make sure that's correct. Um, anyways, though, we'll go ahead and get started with this. First thing we're going to do is we're going to place down a green shulker box. We're going to place down an item frame coming off that green shulker box with a black bed in the item frame facing upwards and then a dark liquid sign on the side there. Now, being on Java, we can place down signs and item frames in the same block space. So that means uh, for all my Java players, we're going to be going ahead and using a lot of dark liquid signs and item frames. Anytime I use a dark liquid sign and item frame, if you're not on Java, just go ahead and use an item frame. Um, don't worry about the sign at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark prismarine upside down stair. And then we want to place down a row of green terracotta. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Green terracotta blocks back. A dark prismarine upside down stair. And then 1, 2, 3 green terracotta blocks again. A upside down piston. This piston can be substituted out for a... Um, uh, basically this uh, upside down stair. You can go ahead and use that as a substitute. And then after that, um, pist or that block there, we're going to place down a... Uh, dark prismarine top slab, a dark liquid trap door. For the time being, we're going to skip a space. Um, so we're going to skip the space here, place a dark liquid trap door again, and then a end rod that's going to face downwards. So you'll place down a block above here, and then place down the end rod, come off the bottom of that block. And then we're going to go ahead and go back one, two, three dark liquid trap doors from that end rod, and then a dark prismarine up sound stair, a dark oak wood fence gate and then a dark oak would sign to both sides of this fence gate. Now if you're on Java, we're going to go ahead and build a block that comes off this fence gate, leaving a space of one, so it's going to sit like this. We're going to place down a tripwire hook like that, and we're going to go then use our command slash give at p minecraft colon debug underscore stick. So this command here, press enter, will give you this glowing stick that you can see right here. What we're going to do is we're going to left click this um, trip bar hook and we're going to get to selected facing we're going to rotate this around until it comes off that fence post. Again, uh, Java only feature but really just kind of a minor detail that isn't completely needed. Make sure you hold on to that debug stick as we will be needing that later. Um, with that done, know that's going to create our center line for the build and at this point we're going to start building out to the side. We're going to place down a green stingless pane come off the side of this stair, and we're going to go then go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, green terracotta blocks, and then a dark prismarine top slab. Um, after we have that done, we're going to go and then go to this middle green terracotta block. We're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate, open it to the side, and then place down a dark oak wood sign coming off the front of the fence gate. So it'll look like this here on both sides of the front, or of this midsection. Then we want to go ahead and go back up to the front here. We're going to place down a dark oak wood bun that's going to come off the side of this green terracotta block. Then two green stained glass panes back. And then one, two, three, four, five, six mossy cobblestone walls. Two green terracotta blocks and another mossy cobblestone wall like so. On this uh, green terracotta block here, we're going to place down a ladder on the side of it. And we're also going to go ahead and place down a item frame that's going to come off of the side of this third mossy cobblestone wall from the front. And we're going to go ahead and then place down a green bed in the item frame. Rotate, rotate it sideways and a dark oak sign if you're on Java. Now, once uh, that's all done, we're going to go ahead and then start to set up our missiles here. So for our missiles, we're going to go ahead and go to these two walls. And we're going to place down two end rods that's going to come off the front here of these walls. And on both ends, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull. So just like that. Then we want to place down a dark oak fence gate coming off the end rods, like this to the side. We're going to go ahead and open both these fence gates toward the rear of the aircraft. And then we're going to go ahead and place down another set of end rods, this time on this side here, and then a wither skeleton skull again on both ends to create your hellfire missiles. Uh, lastly, uh, for this uh, first kind of weapon system here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign on both sides of these fence gates like that to go ahead and complete that design there. Then we have our hydro rocket pods. Um, so for these, we're going to go ahead and place down a 
green terracotta block that's going to come off this wither skeleton skull and we're going to place down two more green terracotta blocks forward from that a oak wood trap door on both sides close that like that and that's going to create your rocket pods there for the sides um, after that's all done up here in the front we're also going to go ahead and take a dark oak wood trap door and place it on both sides of this green shulker box um, just like that and once you have that all done, you're going to go and take what we did on the right side here, flip it over to the left side. So looking at it from the top down view, this is what you should have from the view from up above. At this point in time, though, there are a few differences uh, we're going to talk about. So I would recommend making sure both sides are the same. And let's go ahead and dive into those differences we have. Now, the first uh, differences are going to be real simple. It's just going to be right here. Uh, we're going to go and take our dark oak wood sign. We're going to place down a sign that's going to come off uh, this green terracotta block here. This green terracotta block and this block here, for us we have the piston, could be also be the dark prismarine upside down stair, whichever you have placed. On the other side, however, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves zombie heads. So this will be on the right side and the right side only. We're going to place down a zombie head here and then two right here. So you can see we have a little bit of a difference there. Just make sure that you get that transferred over properly. Um, and really it's uh, pretty straightforward from there. Now, um, once we have that all done, uh, that's going to pretty much do it for what we're going to cover in this layer. Again, here is a top-down view of what that should look like from up above. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into our next layers, which will be layers uh, 1 and 2. All right, guys, so moving into our next layer, we have layer 1 and 2. Uh, these layers here are going to cover basically just everything on the bottom of the helicopter we have left to do. So for this, we're going to start off by going ahead and going to the bottom of this dark prismarine stair or really the top because it's upside down uh, but we're going to place down a dark oak trap door like this and then a second trap door back we're going to go and then place down a lever that's coming off of this block facing forwards like so another dark oak trap door and then we're going to place down a grindstone upside down coming off this green terracotta block here after that uh, grindstone we're going to place down one two three four five six seven eight dark oak trap doors back down the center line here of the aircraft we're going to go ahead and then place down a block right here after that trap door. And then we're going to place down a zombie head coming off this block. We're going to delete the block. And then just place down a end rod coming off this zombie head facing toward the back. So it's going to look like that there for that section. And then we just want to go ahead and go to the very back here of the aircraft. We're going to place down a dark oak fence gate on the bottom of this fence post. Open the fence gate away from the aircraft. And then we're just going to place down a wither skeleton skull that comes off the fence gate for the back landing gear. That's going to finish off our center line. Let's go ahead and move out to our sides. For the sides here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on the bottom of this green terracotta block, and then a second trap door back. Now, for uh, the right side here, we're going to place down an end rod. On the left side, there's going to be a tra dark oak wood trap door, so just make sure you're tracking that difference. Left side, a trap door, right side, an end rod. We're going to go ahead and then place down a mossy cobbles to wall. This will be on both sides here of this grindstone. Now, on the bottom of the grindstone, we're going to place down a dark uh, or polished blackstone top slab. A wither skeleton skull on the side facing toward the back and then we're going to place down a second top slab going forward like so. We then want to place down two end rods and then a wither skeleton skull like that to go ahead and create your bottom cannon. On the sides of the uh, top slabs we're going to place down some zombie heads like that to both sides. So really straightforward and that's going to create your cannon there on the bottom. Now continuing to go back from this uh, mossy cobblestone wall we're going to take our dark oak trap doors and go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eight like that to go ahead and bring us back even with that middle row so that's going to complete everything we have for the fuselage now away from the fuselage we do have our uh, hellfire rockets that we're going to go ahead and expand upon on the bottom of these uh, fence gates we're going to place down some uh, dark prismarine top slabs and then we're going to go ahead and place down two end rods to each side of the slabs just like we did above for the fence gates and then again the wither skeleton school on each end of those and that right there is just going to complete those uh, Hellfire Rockets. And uh, we have our kind of weapons on our pylons all complete. Anyways, though, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layers 1 and 2. Again, make sure you take the same thing, copy it over to the other side. Again, that only difference there being the end rod and that trap door there. So with that all out of the way, though, that's going to wrap up everything we have for layers 1 for 2. And with that, let's move on to layer number 4. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four to start with, we're going to place down a dark prismarine stair like this on top of that front shulker box. We're going to place down an item frame and then a black concrete block in the item frame. Again, a dark oak would sign over it if you're on Java. Behind that, we're going to place down a end portal frame and then a green terracotta block, followed by a black sting 
um, glass block, and then we're going to place down a row of four of black concrete. This black concrete here is to close off the interior. If you do want to do an interior for the build, you're more than welcome to. This tutorial will not include one, so for us, we're just going to fill this in with black concrete. Then we want to go ahead and take our green terracotta, and we're going to place down a long row there in the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it should end here on top of this dark oak trap door here on the very back. Now, once uh, that's all done here on the back, again, we do have some kind of, um, you know, uh, dark magic stuff going on here. Um, and realistically, um, if you're not on Java, instead of the the uh, lever right there, you can go ahead and use a item frame, or not an item frame, a uh, zombie head. So you can just kind of use a zombie head there um, if you're not on Java. So uh, again, that's kind of up to you guys on what you want to do there. Um, but um, again, that's an alternative there. Um, if you are on Java, we can go ahead and use our uh, place a block to the side here, place a lever above that fence gate or fence post, and then we can left click this till we get selected face. We're going to set this to floor, rotate this around so it points toward the um, lever like that. And then this right here uh, will be actually expanded upon in the next uh, layer in which we actually have just a uh, dark prismine stair here. So we're going to place it on the stair for right now. Um, but um, yeah, again, that's part of the next layer. And you'll just place down a lever underneath that, flick backwards. So that's going to do it for the back there. And then also, since we have this green terracotta placed now, we can place down a uh, lever on the bottom of this block here in that space, finishing that off. Now, once we have that done, we're going to go ahead and go to the second to last block here. We're going to place down a green, or just a random block that's going to come off this trap door here. And we're going to place down a zombie head at a slight angle, or probably about a 45 degree angle, like that, come off the sides of that block there. We're going to go then place down an item frame here, and in that item frame, we're going to place down a black bed, rotate that sideways, and again, a dark oak would sign if you're on Java. On the side of this block, on both sides, we're going to place down a zombie head. We're going to go ahead and then skip one, and on the second block here, we're going to place down another item frame, a green terracotta block, this time in the item frame, and a dark oak with sign again over it for my Java players. We're going to place down one, two, three, green stained glass panes forward, one, two, three, mossy cobblestone walls, another item frame coming off this wall here, green terracotta block, and a dark oak with sign coming off the side of it. We're going to take our green terracotta, and then go forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven uh, blocks. Then a dark prismarine stair, a dark prismarine slab, and another dark prismarine stair, followed by a zombie head on both sides of this um, end portal frame. We're going to go then place down an item frame on the side of this stair on the front of it. We're going to place down black concrete in the item frame, and again a dark oakwood sign for my Java players. And we're also going to place down a dark oakwood sign on the side here of this stair here. We're going to go ahead and then place down one, two, three zombie heads along the side of, or on the top of those walls there. And then we want to place down one, two, green stained glass panes. We're going to go then place down a dark oak wood, or sorry, not dark oak wood, but a dark prismarine, um, actually I think it's a, yeah, upside down stair. So it's going to be an upside down stair like that. And then we want to place down a green terracotta full block, followed by a second block, and then a mossy cobblestone wall. And once that's all uh, finished there, we want to go ahead and then do our wings. So for this, we're going to place down a dark prismarine top side coming off that stair. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door, a mossy cobblestone wall, and then a top slab back from the wall. Going forward from the wall, though, we're going to place down a green stained glass pane, a narrow dark prismarine top slab, dark oak wood trap door, and then again a mossy cobblestone wall, green stained glass pane forward, and a dark prismarine top slab back from the wall. And on the very outside here, we're just going to go and take our zombie heads, and we're just going to place down two zombie heads, like that, on the very end um, of the wings. And that will just be done there to both sides. Um, at this point, though, I think that's pretty much all we have for both sides at this time. I'd recommend going in and taking out, taking the right side and flipping over to the left side. So this is now what you have for the top down view with layer four all complete. Now, at this point, there is going to be a section here that I do want to go ahead and talk about. And that's going to be this little cabling that runs kind of in this rear section along the tail. It's uh, really simple, uh, but kind of easier now for my really for these Java players now to go ahead and kind of uh, picture. Now, if you're not on Java, I'd recommend going ahead and using probably zombie heads for this. So we're going to place down one right there and one right here. And you're just going to go ahead and run a row of chain between those two blocks. So you can do that. However, for my Java players, we can do a better technique here. We're going to delete that zombie head 
Uh, we're not going to place that, and we're going to have this uh, block kind of off to the side. So we have a lever that's going to be underneath this zombie head here, and then underneath this middle uh, green stained glass pane. We're going to go ahead and take our debug stick here, left click till we get selected face, and we're going to go ahead and set this to ceiling. And it should automatically be flicked out to the sides here. If not, though, you can go ahead and uh, manually set them by going ahead and uh, change the facing. Uh, but you want to go ahead and do that on both sides there. And you can see we have that cabling that runs all the side there. Pretty nice design for it. I think it works pretty good. And again, the levers here are going to be the best block to use for that. Um, also, in addition here, uh, we can take our debug stick. We can left click the piston till we get selected extended false. Right click that extended true and just finish that off right there. Um, anyways though, that is going to wrap up everything we have there for layer 4 that I want to cover. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to layer number 5. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number 5. For our starting line, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down another brick stair on top of this black stained glass block here. And behind that, we're just going to place down a row of 4 of concrete, black concrete, to fill that space in. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to go back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So again, this should be 9 here in total. Then we're gonna place down four of the end portal frames, then four dark prismarine slabs, and then two daylight detectors, like so. We're gonna go then place down a green terracotta block that should connect up to this dark prismarine stair we set up in the previous layer. Coming off the stair, we're gonna place down a daylight detector that goes back like so. And then out to the sides from the stair, we're gonna place down three dark prismarine slabs. And then we're gonna place down three daylight detectors coming off the daylight detector. Like that for your horizontal stabilizer. Once uh, that's done, back up on the front here, we're going to place down a black stained glass pane coming off the side here of the stair. We're going to go ahead and then place down two, sorry, three nether brick walls back, another dark prismarine uh, stair, and a dark oak wood sign along the side there. We're going to take our green terracotta, we're going to go back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two mossy cobblestone walls, and then one, two, three zombie heads, and then a zombie head here at a slight angle like that to go and finish it off. So that's going to basically um, finish that off there. And then out to the sides, we're going to place down a dark oak trapdoor that's going to come off this third green terracotta block. And then one, two, three, four dark prismarine top slabs back from that. Uh, we also want to place down an item frame on the side of this green terracotta block. And in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and place down a black concrete block and rotate it so it faces this direction. And then a dark oak sign on the side of it like so. And that's going to complete what we have there for that little marker on the both sides there. After that's done, we're going to take our dark oak wood trap doors, and we're going to go ahead and build one, two, three, four um, trap doors across this space, and then through, or sorry, four green uh, carpet right behind that. And once that's all done, that is going to wrap up everything here for this layer. Just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. It's a really simple layer. Um, just kind of, again, building up on what we've already set up. Uh, but yeah, that right there is going to complete everything we have for layer 5. Again, make sure you take the same thing, copy it over to the right side. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving on to... Um, layer number six. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number six. For layer six, to get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood trap door on top of this black concrete block, a narrow brick slab back from it, two black concrete or black stained glass blocks, a green terracotta block, and then we have three blocks of netherite in this section here, two green terracotta blocks, a end portal frame, and then a uh, dark prismarine slab after that end portal frame. We're also going to go ahead and go to this uh, second end portal frame here and we're just going to place down a flower pot on top of that block there. Uh, going very back here to our vertical stabilizer just to expand upon this we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall and then a green terracotta block um, and that's that's about it. So pretty simple um, and that's going to uh, finish our tail for the layer. Um, then to the sides here for the fuselage, we're going to place down two black stained glass panes come off these blocks here, and then we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six green stained glass panes back, then a zombie head, and then another zombie head here at kind of a slight angle, so it looks like that. Then take our green terracotta, we're going to build one, two, three, four green terracotta blocks, and then a dark prismarine slab like so. We're going to go ahead and grab an item frame. We're going to place down an item frame here on the side of this slab like so, and then a green terracotta block in the item frame. We're also going to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the slab. And again, for my Java players, we'll also place down a sign on the side with the item frame. Then, once we have that done there, we're going to go ahead and grab a dark oak wood trap door. We're going to place down a trap door here, close that, and then a polished black stone button. We then want to place down an end rod. And then we're going to place down a second end rod that's coming off this, like that, out to the side. And uh, then we want to go ahead and just place down a item frame. So we grab that real quick. 
We have an item frame here, green terracotta block in the item frame, and then a dark oak wood sign on the side here if you're on Java. And lastly, we're just going to place down a ladder that's going to come off this uh, green terracotta block like that for the engines. And with that all done there, that is going to wrap up everything we have for layer number uh, six. And with that, we'll be going ahead and moving into layer number seven. Moving into our next layer, we have layer number seven. For layer seven, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to begin with by placing down a lever that's going to be flicked forward on top of the second black stained glass block here. Um, also, from the previous layer, I forgot to include that we do want to have a wither skeleton skull on a slight angle like this to both sides of this narrow brick slab. So just make sure that gets added on. We're going to go then place down a dark prismarine slab back from the lever then a deep slate tile stair block, a deep slate tile wall, a deep slate tile stair, and then a daylight detector right behind that. We're gonna go ahead and then place down a zombie head on top of this end portal frame and then an end rod coming off the back there of the um, zombie head. Then we're gonna place down a zombie head here on these green stained glass panes here, try to uh, make sure that the face is facing toward the inside. And then we're gonna place down an end rod on the top here of these glass panes here to both sides. We also want to take our polished blackstone buttons. We're going to place down two buttons here, and that is going to form up this section here um, of the build. And on the very tail here, we're just going to place down a green stained glass pane on top of this mossy cobblestone wall, a green terracotta block behind it, and then a dark oak trap door. And that right there is going to finish off what we have for layer number seven. And with that, we'll probably just go ahead and dive into our last final layers of the build. Moving into our last final layers, we have layers eight through 13. To go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and work on our, um, uh, basically our rotors. So for this, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a block of netherite on top of this uh, wall here. We then want to place down a dark oak wood fence gate uh, coming off all four sides here of this block like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a fence gate that's going to come off the fence gates like this. And you want to make sure that they are closed. And then we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side of the the right side of these fence gates all the way around. So we have the right side here, uh, right side, right side, and right side. So it's kind of uh, oriented around like that. And then we're gonna place down item frames on top of these fence gates, like so. So the ones that are open. And in those fence gates, we're gonna go ahead and place down gray concrete blocks, like so. We're gonna place down an anvil on top and then a flower pot like that. Again, the flower pot there is where the longbow radar could go, but this version here, we are not gonna be including that. Then we wanna go ahead and grab ourselves some polished blackstone slabs. So let me go ahead and grab it, go into my creative menu and grab some. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna place down, coming off these fence gates, we're gonna place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 top slabs. Same thing with back here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And again here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and then uh, place down a block like this. And this is for the one that's facing forward. We're gonna place down a, uh, or actually, sorry, it's gonna be to this side. We're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull here and a second skull behind it. And then the top slab come off this skull. So it's gonna kind of angle it a little bit to the side there like that. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. This Again, this one's gonna be angled up toward the front. So we're gonna do the same thing. So just like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing here. So we want these all to kind of be angled toward the same direction. So uh, they're all gonna kind of go in a clockwise uh, kind, of, uh, kind of design. And we're gonna do the same thing here, obviously on the back one. And make sure, this is, make sure it's a top slab. And then again, this one right here, this is gonna go this way and we have an air top slab. So basically looking at it from up above, this is what it should look like for your rotor blades. Now once uh, those rotor blades are done, we're gonna go ahead and then go back to our tail and we're gonna go ahead and build up our vertical stabilizer. Moving into our vertical stabilizer and our tail rotor, we're gonna be going ahead and beginning by placing down a mossy cobblestone wall on top of this green stained glass pane here, a green terracotta block back from that and then a green stained glass pane on this back section. We're gonna place down there a green terracotta block going up the center and then a mossy cobblestone wall on this rear side. Then uh, we're gonna go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence gate, which we can just grab one from right here. And we're gonna have it come off this green terracotta block like that. We're gonna go then place down a polished black stone wall and then an item frame coming off this wall and a gray concrete block in the item frame. Again, for my Java players, we'll place a dark oak wood sign on the side of the uh, wall as well. We're gonna place down a polished black stone top slab here 
half slab here, and then we're gonna go and drop down from the half slab with a top slab, and we're gonna go up from the top slab with a half slab. So it's gonna kind of angle that like so. And then your second blade, you're gonna go ahead and go down from the slab with a wall, and then up from the slab with a wall. And then going up, we're gonna place down a wither skeleton skull, one coming off of it, and delete that first skull. And same thing will be done over on the bottom here. So it's gonna look like that there for your uh, tail rotor, and those blades are complete. Now, once we have that done, uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a dark oak wood fence post, end rod, and we'll also go ahead and go ahead and need some iron bars. So let me go ahead and grab those, and like that. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence post up here on this green terracotta block, and then we're going to go ahead and place down an end rod and two uh, iron bars up like that for the antenna on the tail rotor. Uh, with that all done though, that's going to complete the main design here for the Apache. Uh, the, basically all that's left for us really to do now is the different landing gear. So we're going to go ahead and start with the in-flight landing gear for those of you that want to build the aircraft in flight. And then we'll be doing the landed, uh, landing gear. So go ahead and skip ahead to whatever portion you want. Again, the video is separated into chapters in the video description. And also you can look at the time encoder bar and skip ahead. Um, but yeah, with that, let's move on to the uh, in-flight landing gear and followed by the landing landing gear. All right guys, so moving into the in-flight landing gear, all we need to do for this one is going to be the front gear. Um, the back wheel here is how it would sit normally, so we are all good to go there. Again, it's just going to be these front landing gear. We're going to start off by going ahead and going to this uh, second wall from front here. We're going to place down another monster cobblestone wall down from it. Behind that, we're going to place down an end rod coming off the third wall. Going down from this end rod, we're going to place down another monster cobblestone wall, and we're going to place down a dark oak wood sign on the side here of it. And then also a dark oak wood trap door on the back side of it. So it's going to look like that there. Then below this slab, we're going to place down, or below the trap door, we're going to place down a dark prismarine slab, a top slab. Then we're going to place down a polished box to the wall to the side and a second wall like that. We'll then just place down two wither skeleton skulls on top of those walls to go ahead and create the wheel design. And the very last thing here is going to be kind of a more Java oriented feature. Um, you do have an alternative uh, for other versions to place down a dark oak wood fence gate here. That could work. Um, for our uh, situation though, we're going to place down a block to the side here. Um, we're going to go ahead and place down a lever on the side of that block, so underneath that wall. And again, we'll use our debug stick um, that we used earlier. You can use the same command. And then we're going to left click this to get selected face. We're going to go ahead and set this to ceiling. Um, and it should automatically, depending on your orientation, it should hopefully uh, be facing forward. If not, you'll just use your tool, uh, go to selected facing, and you can rotate this around uh, in whatever direction you need it. But you want this facing forward, and that is going to be it for that, that in-flight landing gear. So that's going to be the landing gear there. Um, in flight, you'll just take the same design and copy it over to the air side. And then obviously your back wheel here is fine. You're already set up and good to go. So uh, once you have that transfer over to both sides, that's it for the in flight version of the helicopter. And with that, we'll be going ahead and now moving on to the landed version. All right, guys, moving into our landed uh, configuration for our landing gear. We're going to be going ahead and starting off by going ahead and going to this uh, slab here. So the second slab, we're going to place down a dark prismarine top slab underneath that. And then behind that, we're going to place down a dark prismarine stair. So you have a top slab and a stair going back like that. We then want to place down another top slab. So you have a top slab, stair, and top slab. We're going to place down a lever on the bottom of this stair here. We're going to have that flight aim forward. And then we want to go ahead and place down a um, lever on the back of this slab here. We're going to place down a polished blackstone wall on the side of the slab and a second one back. Unfortunately, with this design, you will have to delete this wither skeleton skull and this end rod to get this to fit. Uh, for a wheel, but we're going to place down our two wither skeleton skulls on top of those walls like that to go ahead and complete the front land gear. So, uh, by all means, not perfect, but it does work for it, and that is going to be the front wheels. Now, the back ones here are going to require a little bit of modification, and really all we need to do here is we're just going to delete this wither skeleton skull, and we're going to go down from this fence gate at an angle and place down a polished blackstone brick uh, block. We're going to go ahead and place down a lever facing forwards like so. The item frame to both sides of this block with a green stained glass paint in the item frame and then a dark oak wood button to the sides of it to go ahead and create the back wheel. Again, not perfect by any means, but it does work for this, um, this setup and can be used to help show the helicopter landed. 
Um, anyways, though, that is going to wrap up what we have from the landed version of the helicopter, and with that, my in-flight and landed versions of the H-64E Apache Guardian. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this tutorial and are able to put this build to good use. If you do use this build, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This could be linked from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on your social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, your free user for projects you guys are working on. Again, a big special links to uh, Z Pro Warfare for commissioning this build. And if you are interested in commissioning a build for yourself, definitely feel free to reach out uh, through my email, garrett 2 by 4 at gmail.com, or through my Discord server uh, linked in the video description. Um, other than that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2 by 4 and I'll see you guys next time.